Hello, my bloody brothers and sisters, and welcome back to another amazing episode of V Rising. So where we left off last time, we have to go kill a few bosses. We need to get Raziel the Shepherd. We need to go back and do Frostmaw the Terror because he'll allow us to make scrolls when I finally find the press within the research. And also, I need to go get Terra the Geomancer because we'll get the gem cutting table, which is kind of secondary, but her power, she gives us an ultimate that's a very safe ultimate to use. I want to make sure everyone knows about that as well. So that's going to be the three that we do. And I'm currently tracking uh, Jade, but I don't think I'll I'll bother too much with her at the moment. I want to grab that and then come back here. I might actually have enough to make one item, but I want to grab the little bit of like yarn and stuff I have. And obviously, what? oops, wrong button. And while we're out there, I want to make sure that I'm... Let me grab that there. That I'm grabbing some more cotton so that we can make more cotton yarn. And that way we can be ult or uh, I can't talk today. That way I can be optimizing our gear even further. I'm going to make the Dawn Thorn leggings real quick because I only have the regular hollow fang here. So that'll give us two points boosting us to 61. So we're going to grab all these goodies. Get up on our nice horsey poo here. I got some uh, good Rogue blood on me. That's 100% rogue blood like we have in me right now. I'm going to grab some healies and we're going to go take on these little guys. Oh boy, he's right there. He doesn't see me for some... Oh shit, he does see me. going to come this way a little bit. There's a little bit of shade here. I was just kind of trying to find him. Okay, that hit me somehow. Aha, uh -huh, sucker. You thought. You thought. I gotta remember the buttons here. I haven't played in a hot minute that I don't quite remember everything. Just kidding. We're a god, so it'll be fine. As I take two hits. Oh, I missed my timing. I was trying to bounce in and then immediately get out. The only thing I'm really worried about here is this sunlight. Like that. Get in here. Woo! Good thing I got the good cloak on. I don't know where he is. I'm stuck against something. Oh god, this is not going well. Trying to fight this while in the sunlight is kind of the uh, the nail in the coffin, right? I probably should have waited till nighttime, but you know me. I kind of always get ahead of myself here. Especially with these kind of fights. Because I'm like, ah, I'll just go in. We'll just take care of this real fast. It's no big deal. Did he run away? Did he use his ultimate and then run away from me, that cheeky bitch? Where are you? Where the hell did he go? Hello? Oh, there he is. <laughs> was he attacking a moose? That poor moose. Moose had no idea what was ha coming to him. Uh oh, I'm stuck. Oh, no. That's what I was afraid of. Getting stuck in the open like that. I'm getting frozen twice almost I gotta like gotta play this right it's all right I know I got a shadow right here he's probably coming around all right he juked me he cheated ah sucker I cheated gonna sit, uh, I was gonna sit there for a second is he creating shade for me in this ability? I feel like he is. Where is he? I'll fight him. Does he just not show up? Where'd he go? This dude jukes me every time he uses this ability. Is he way down here? It's like he uses the ability, run, runs away from me, and then I find him, like, killing a moose or something, you know? Hello? Oh! And he healed back, you cheeky son of a bitch. Yeah, you're, you're a bastard. You're a real bastard. I guess I'm going to try and fight him up here. That path down there is probably not, like, the best. And obviously, up here is not great for me. I got to, like, fight in these trees here. Good thing the sun's going down here in a minute. That's what I get. I tried to, I tried to peek the tree. Couldn't get out of there. Yeah. Definitely hurt myself by trying to fight in these tree lines in the daytime. That pathway down there was fine. 
it wasn't the worst case scenario for me. It wasn't fantastic, but it was definitely a lot better than this. But it's about to be day here. Or night, I should say. Day for us vampire folks. Of course not, though. I still gotta get over here. All right, so he's here. Where is he going, though? Oh. I lost my mouse. There it is. My mouse got, like, stuck off on my one of my other monitors. I couldn't find it there. Yeah, it keeps doing it. Uh-oh. Man, this, this fucking daytime nonsense here is getting me. And, oh, you know what? I'm out of blood. Two things. Blood. Use that up there real quick. Get down here. So it's all good. It's all good in the hood, baby. All right. E came up on me real hard there. Should still be in that corner. Not sure where he is. Okay. I don't know how I'm... Oh, maybe I have to move towards him for that one. Whoop. Definitely thought I used my dodge, but I probably just missed it. Ooh, he got me with that. That's deadly. That's a double freeze. Whoop. It's all right, we got him here. Man, that was that was rough, you know. For my first time back and be rising for a bit, that was a that was silly me to try and take that fight during the daytime. Don't do what I do. I say that and we'll go fight the next boss during the daytime. So we got a Taylor's floor, which I don't think I had. So that's good. Definitely needed that. And uh, yeah, so now I'm good. I'm gonna go into bear form for a second just to. Get some health back. It's a good form of re passive regen. I don't want to waste my blood. I'll use a blood rose brew in a minute here. So we got him done. He's up here, by the way. Now we're going to go kill um, Raziel, who's over here in the Dunley Monastery. But I need to make a holy brew po potion first. And then I need to go from here up to Bedrock Pass. Because that's where Terra the Geomancer is, and what she'll do is give us a nice little ultimate ability as well. So we'll probably do Terra first, depending on if it's nighttime, because she's outside and he's inside, so we can fight him during the day without it being a silly decision. And then we'll make our way down to the G to uh, Raziel, if that is the case. So, but yeah, guys, if you're loving V Rising, you do want to keep seeing this going. I know it's been a bit. We had a lot of games coming up that we had to go check out. But, you know, make sure you hit that like button down below and we'll keep this train rolling. Welcome back to Casa de Do. So what I got to grab here real quick, you know, we got our lovely little garden top up here. Where's my file? Fill up our water vials. So we got to make a holy resistance potion. Why? Because Raziel is in a sanctuary and it's protected by the holiness and it will do periodic damage to you over time so you absolutely need one of these potions it won't kill you but it'll bring you to literal one hp like every other dot in the game so don't be foolish make a holy resistance potion yes it t costs you two scourge stones so make sure you're utilizing your forges over here like you see shabby is we're making scourge stone wet stones glass and some grave dust put all that to good use and get it done okay now, once we grab that, I did make a chest piece that'll be ready when I go downstairs. So we'll take all that with us. And like I said, we're going to head out to Dunley Hill over to the Dunley Monastery for Raziel. And then lastly, Bedrock Pass. And that'll take care of all the early game stuff. And then maybe we'll go do a little pristine farming over at Gloom Gray Village and maybe try and kill the chief at nighttime. Hey, eh? what do you what do you guys think of that? I think that's a good idea. You know what else is a great idea? Hit that subscribe button down below. Oh my god, you're not going to guess what I just found. Hold on, give me a second. It's over here. Not you. Look at him. Another 100% rogue. I'll take 200% rogues. Need to take care of you. And uh, change this to dominating presence. And what is it, R? 
You're coming home with me. You're coming home with me, buddy. Let's go. We got to go back, build a new prison, and give our new rogue buddy a home. Oh, good day to you, sir. Oh, no. I think something happened. I think he died. Because I have my ability back. I think, uh... Oh, that sucks. I, th there were some archers on the way. I must... I didn't think they could actually take damage when we came back. I've never seen it happen before. But he must have took one of the arrows to the face that I dodged and it killed him. Because, like, there's all these crossbow guys out here, right? There's also flame arrow people. It's unfortunate. Oh, well, at least it wasn't something new, I suppose. But that still makes me sad. Yeah, I probably died right over here, I guess. What a sad day. Here we are. We're in the Bedrock Pass here. This is where we're going to see Terra. She's right up here. There she is. See? Hi, Terra. But it's almost nighttime. I'm going to wait till nighttime. Let's stop being stupid and let's just get a little shabby instead. Once it hits night, we're going to go in there and go rock her world. All right. I'm going in just because there's a golem coming up behind me. Bam. Hello, yes. dear. Just going to give you a few little easy slapper roonies. This shouldn't honestly be uh, much of a hard fight for us because we're, we're such a higher level compared to her, right? So, so Terra transforms into this. Just going to back away here. We're just going to, you know, lay it down on him. Get get away. Get out of these skills. So they he summons or she summons these golems here and when the golems are up they're lifelinked you can kind of see that there and oop, you slapped me and when they're lifelinked like this you can't damage our, our thick boy over here see little splashy poo nothing really happened there so once they're down you can start dealing damage again to our girl I am the unstoppable oh. force, the immovable Stones of it's all right and I was wondering how much damage I could do while she was in that form. Back it up. I'm covered in that, like, black fire now. Phase two in rage mode. And we got our skelly boys here. I'm just doing this. That way I can get my crits because we got that 100% rogue blood. I better use that to my advantage, right? Stupid not to. How often do I do things like that? <laughs> like every time, obviously. I mean, I use rogue blood all the time, but I'm definitely more of a magey boy. Those below, heed my call. It's all right. You're dead, girl. Thanks for playing. See, that went a lot better. Playing at night, definitely a lot more uh, easier, compatible with what we do. So we're going to take this victory in stride. We're going to go head over to the monastery here while it's still daytime. We're going to go full clear because at, if you... And I hope you have. You saw my video about how to get quartz. You know the monastery is, like, the place to be. As far as what I found, it's definitely the better place of all the areas to go and farm it. Obviously, you need to use a holy resistance potion. But if you do a full clear of it, you're going to get plenty of scourge stone and glass. Anyways, it's not going to be a waste. Been a while since we did a full clear together, so let's go. So, like I always do, I always make sure to check our people here. Check for good blood. Just going to go in, give them a little smack. Oops. I accidentally just used my ultimate there. That's the ultimate. So, you can see it gives me a shield, summons the golem kind of like um, like Terra does. And then he'll do a little bit of damage. But it's really a great... Uh, oop, I didn't see you there. I thought you were dead. It's really a great ability to protect yourself and the team in a fight. Ooh, I need to use my potion. You see how I'm taking damage there? That's the effect of the holiness. Just doing that to give myself a quick heal. Slap him around. Grab all this stuff. And so this is what I mean by a full clear. So we've got scholars here too. Definitely kill them. They have a decent chance to drop scrolls. So if you're still working on getting all those research taken care of like I am, definitely kill everybody. Break everything. Fish oils. Amazing resource. We need a shit ton of fish oil in order to craft pristine leather. <clears throat> so you're really hurting yourself by not doing full clears especially in towns the towns where they have like the food crates uh they have a phenomenal drop rate of fish oil that's where i get a lot of mine from when i'm doing those farming runs breaking those crates i'll leave out of there with like 70 90 oil it's fantastic so this is also why i wanted to wait till nighttime to do this clear because this whole area is open here and there's a lot of roaming creatures here 
So it, it's definitely wiser to, okay, excuse you. It's definitely wiser to do this when you have a nice, uh, a nicer time not having to dodge the sun there. Like I said, this is very open, so it's definitely much more of a pain in the ass. And of course I've done it in the daytime because I'm stupid. So if I can find a good scholar, I will swap to it. I would love to find a 100% scholar and take that home with me and not lose him like the one I just, like the new 100% rogue we lost. I'm very sad about that still. I'm not sure what happened, honestly. I just took off running on my horse. I'm just assuming he got, got clipped by an enemy. See, fish oil. I don't care so much about the, the, the flowers. I've got a farm. If I need to, I can just like, you know, be farming, obviously, so. Get in there, do this, do another one. Because remember with the 100% rogue blood, I get crits after every movement. So I can use it twice because this movement refreshes. So, like I said, I'm going to do a full clear. We're going to, I'm just going to go over here. These guys roam, so I wanted to check them out real quick. Go in here and just do that. Get in. Couple, couple crits. I want to get rid of, I wanted to get rid of one of those as fast as possible. There we go. Do a quick feed. Look like the other one healed completely. Big heals. I'll take the easy feed kills. Thank you. Got some fish oils. We got some glass bottles. Glass in general, obviously peak because we need a shit ton of it. Hello, scholar. Nope, you're weak. So like just finding glass is fantastic. I mean, we're on a, a quartz farm, right? So why wouldn't you want glass? That's the end goal. See some scrolls there. So we're going to go around. I'm just going to farm this up real quick. So going around the outskirt, Raziel's inside there, but you want to make sure, like I said, do a full clear while it's nighttime. You can fight him in the daytime. It's not going to make a difference. It's fully inside. It has a roof. There's no skylight, so it's beautiful. Oh, hello, Scholar. So, you know, just knock you down real quick before that brigade comes. All right, she's going to run away to them. That's fine, too. We'll take care of most of them with that attack. Take you out in the front. Oh, they're dead. I thought those archers on the ground with the flames around them were just kind of like, Kneeling down, getting ready for an aimed shot. I was severely mistaken. They're just super, super dead. All right, don't forget your containers here because Scourge Stone. Obviously Grave Dust because we'll just turn it into Scourge Stone anyway, so. So what we're looking for on the edges here is the quartz like this. You'll see them on the edges. Anyone good in there? Uh, uh, 40s are not bad. I'm not obviously not going to swap a rogue out for it, but I would love... Like a 90 plus scholar. It would just be so good. I can't even like get in there right now because of that AOE they got up. All right, knock them out of there. Take the feed. Don't need to kill or don't need to actually drink it. I just want the feed for the quick execute. I never used it much on the earlier levels, but now it's really nice, especially when these guys can heal or they can actually like really start dishing out that damage. So look at this little guy. He's just hiding in the corner. So I want my quartz. I did bring 100% rogue or um, worker blood. I thought about popping it here, but I'm probably just going to save it for after the battle. And maybe when I do a like a wheat or a wheat run, like a cotton run or something when it's a little more beneficial to me. It's going to pop in here. Give that off. Execute one. Lose the other. And he's good. Nothing fantastic. My inventory is full. What? I got like seeds. I don't really care about the seeds anymore. Um, paper. I probably don't really care about. Good cotton though. That's just from... We did get one field and we got some from chests. I'm gonna get rid of just some, some garbage in my inventory here just to make some quick space. All right, that's decent enough for the moment at least. And I immediately just pick up another seed because I'm stupid. There we go. So these are some of my favorite spots in here just because of all these jars, some scrolls. What I really want is fish oils, but because this is the church, ooh, merciless hollow fang. Obviously we don't care about that anymore. Um, but I'll take the scrolls just because obviously we're moving towards that next tier progression, right? So that gear is unnecessary, but we'll take the scrolls because we can still use that. 
Thank you. All right, I'm just gonna, let's roll around to the side here. Just double check for crates on the edge. Pretty much got everything we need. Was not a great run. I mean, that's awful for quartz. This is probably one of the worst quartz spawns I've ever seen here. But I mean, we still got five scourge stones. So even though we used the potion, it's not like it was a waste. You got me. All right, fish oil scroll. So again, I want to check, like, look at all these. Like, it's such a great place to go to check for, for blood if you're looking for a scholar. I might make this part of my runs when I'm in the area, just to come over here, check for some scholars. Like, that's a 42. It's not terrible, but it's not great. And then we got Raziel here. Hey, buddy. So we're going to go take him out. I don't think I need to buff myself with anything. I'm looking pretty sexy. So let's just get in here and just kind of lay in on him. Back up a bit. We got to break these things. Let's heal myself back up real quick. Ouch. That hit, that hit the destructible behind me and blew up. That was not fair. It's cheeky and I don't appreciate it. Ooh, yes, that's that's a lot of damage. Let's see what you're doing. I gotta get used to his attack pattern so I know what to expect. Alright, so that's some good damage there. Ooh, fish oil. And break these down. I don't want to... These things stun you, so I'd rather get over there and take care of them nice and quickly. There is a little sun in here, I suppose. I never noticed it, but... Oop, oop, see, he's giving me that big damage. I need to get through him and get to the other side there. Just gonna give him a quick few booty shots. Boop, gotcha. So just to show you that ability again, so like if I drop this down here, you can see I get some armor. So it's great for like the final push on a boss or if your team is getting hurt by a boss's like, you know, big enrage mechanic, like Octavian, for instance. It's a great boost to throw down, give yourselves that extra survivability and just literally punch that boss right in the testicles. All right, we got that taken care of. Just gonna take care of you real quick. Thanks for the scroll, baby. I'm probably not gonna massacre all the ladies. I'll let them live. They're just doing what they're supposed to do. Oh, this this sun doesn't hurt me. Interesting. So anything good in here? Like, no, not really. Some fish oils obviously is great, but not even a scourge stone. He didn't drop me a book. This guy's a cheap... The bosses out in Dunley are kind of cheap bastards, don't you think? I haven't found, like, a single good... 15 fish oils. What the hell was that from? Did I drop that by mistake? I must have. That's a lot of fish oils just to find sitting on the ground like that. Take that cotton seed though. All right, beautiful. I'm just gonna gear up. I'm just gonna go into bear mode for a second. And then I'm just gonna go and grab our mount. And that's it. We, we got those bosses. So we'll go check out the blood altar. Kind of see what we do next. That's my, my dev mode. I use that when we're playing on the community server. If you haven't seen it, you better go check it out. Just type in Shabby when you go and look for the games. Make sure you're in PvE mode and that you have your ping unselected because if you're like not in the US or not even on the East Coast, it might not show it to you because it try this they do a good job by trying to show you the best possible servers in your area, but even if you search for something, you can't find it if that like latency button's pinged and checked. So do uncheck that if you're looking for the do server. But all right, let's head back and uh come on stop there you go thank you for playing we're gonna head back check out our blood altar and make a plan i'm thinking we might go for jade next and that'll and i'll double check the other things and that'll really round out dunley farms entirely and that'll be all the bosses here for now at least i believe there's something else that i can't access yet but we'll get there when that is the case if that is the case we'll get there when it comes but otherwise we need to head this way because this here that's a quarry. That's the silver quarry. So I need to go back over here 
and do that. And we'll do that in the next episode. So let's go check out what our plan is. And while we're heading our way down there, make sure you're hitting that like button down below, traveling all the way down to that comments page. Let me know how your games are going. And while you're there, subscribing if you haven't already. So you get back here for that sweet, shabby content to the Dew Castle. All right, welcome back to the Castle of Dew. So let's check this out. So obviously we've got, man, you are an ugly bitch. <laughs> Jesus, that is gross. All right, so we've got everybody unlocked all the way through to, uh, let's say, tier 60, right? So Raziel the Shepherd. And then the last person we need to take care of, I believe, is Jade the Vampire Hunter, who just like Tristan kind of roams around, but in Dunley Farm. So we need to track her, find her, destroy her, and we'll get a couple things here. I don't know what power we're going to get, but we'll get a better explosive. Who, who gives a crap? Major resource veins, walls and doors, whatever. But this, the Primal Blood Essence. So we're going to need this to probably unlock a lot of the higher tier stuff. Just like we needed the greater Blood Essences for like high tier or mid tier jewelries and such. We're going to need these. Oh, wait, where is it? Right here. These Primal Blood Essences. So essentially you normally get them from three exquisite hearts. Once you kill Jade, you can turn nine greater bloods into an exquisite or a primal, I should say. And to make that, you can also use Tristan's ability to turn 150 into a greater. So you can see here, we've got a good amount. I usually, when I come back, I dump all my stuff in here. Wow, I got two exquisite hearts. That's sick. Almost got a primal. So we're going to need that for a few things. I'm not sure what. Um, then we also need to be working on this Aya Twilight, which is like a super late thing because, uh, where is it? It goes, I don't remember where it is. That's how little I've cared about this thing. Where are you? Exterior? Here it is, dominance. So we need four gold ingots and four spectral dust. I'm gonna need the dust for jewelry. Uh, it's something we can get from Banshees, which is what we were farming that one time out here in the ancient village. As you can see, Spectral Dust. Uh, this is probably another village, but it's pretty far away and I haven't gone over there yet. And this is the new content that'll be coming out at some point. So I think our next goal will be, uh, Dark Silver. So we need to go and get silver, use it with our Scourge Stone. I need to get a bunch of Whetstone too. So... I need to start utilizing these guys for missions, which means I need to leave this game running in order to acquire the goods because they take so long, right? So like if I send them to the bandit armory, um, Rowan, oh, I can't send him because he has items in his inventory. It's like Frederick, give me, give me this. Come back in. I haven't used this because, like I said, I've spent a private server, so it's it doesn't really make a lot of sense. So, like, if I send Frederick in, um, a 20% chance of injury. It'll take 23 hours, so I literally have to leave this game running, um, which means I'll probably just sit in the coffin all day. But I'll get 25 to 31 whetstones, which is pretty good. General area loot, so I can get some more, some stone dust and blood essence. Um... Yeah, you can lower the time, but chance of injury goes up. Chance of success goes down. And, well, you can see my success is always the same. So it's really just about how much I want. So maybe I'll do like the eight hours and just do that three times. I don't know. You know what? Let's just send them out. Begin the hunt. Goodbye, my friend. Goodbye. Have fun. Enjoy. I'll see you probably never again because who knows how long. If I'll ever leave this thing going for th 23 hours straight. But all right, we're going to wrap that up here. I've got my oopsies. I've got my fish to put in here. I'm going to throw this in because that's going to get rid of some of his misery. And we need to get that bad boy down so we can be eating up his blood. Getting that good suck suck so we can head out. But yeah, we're going to go kill Jade next time. So make sure you stick around for that. Subscribe so you see it coming. And as usual, brothers and sisters, I hope the rest of your day is... Not too shabby.